ordinary, ordinary physical meetings and six virtual meetings and 21 special meetings. The region, the region accounts for a total population of 185,025 or 16.4% of the total population in the province in, in the province. In the 2019 national election, out of, out of 102, 8, 840 registered voters, the region received 2,926 votes, uh, 926 votes. In 2021 local government local election, out of the total of 98,158 registered vote, voters, the region received 4,162 votes on the what ballot and 4,504 votes on the PR ballot. Same comrades, 9.4 pixel like same. The last regional people's assembly was held on the 28th of August, 2021. The assembly elected Daniel Kellem as the regional chairperson and fighter Leonard McKenna as the regional secretary with three other officials and, and 16 additional members. The region has a total number of 50, 51 IEC wards and 174 IEC voting districts. This is a second lowest region in terms of population, in terms of population after Namakwa in the province. The district is divided into eight local municipalities, that namely Mtanjeni, Kariebiar, Fronosterbiar, Siangumma, Siatemba. Tembelete, Ubuntu, and Umsobomfu. The EFF regional office is located at 7 Fanzil Street in DR. The PCP deployed to the region are fighter Keke Konote, fighter Hilda Muromete, and fighter Tsuaro Moshe. The regional command team consists of 21 members and 20 members are active. Between 2018 and 2022, the RCT has held 32 ordinary physical physical meeting and six virtual meetings and 21 special meetings. The region accounts for a total population of 234,445 or 20.8% 20 of the total population in the province. In the 2019 national and provincial election, out of 128,522 registered voters, the region received 4,627 voters. In the 2021 local government election, out of a total of 122,859 registered voters, the region received 3,272 votes on the ward ballot and 3,563 votes on the PR ballot. The region has a total of nine seats, of which two are ward councillors in Tembelise and Karieberg municipality, one, one, one in the district, and six are proportional representat representative councillors. The region is not represented in all three, in three municipalities out of the eight municipalities in the region. Between 2018 and 2020, the region has convened two regional uh, plenum between 2018 and 2022, the region has held various organization program and amongst this are the following. The last regional people's assembly in Namakwa Comrades was held on the 29th of August, 2021. The assembly elected fighter Lionel, Lionel Van Veig as the regional chairperson and fighter Joalisa Van Veig as the regional secretary, three other officials and 16 additional members. The region has a total number of, four, total number of 40 IEC wards and 111 IEC, wards, IEC voting district. This is a smallest region in terms of the population in the province. The district is divided into local municipality, namely Hantam, Kar Hantam Kamisberg, Karua Wokland, Kaima, Namakoi and Rechtersfeld. The EFF regional office is located at Twin One Van Riebeck Street in Springbok. The PCT deployee to the region were Commissar Shadrach Taule and Fighter Obaken Lichuti, Fighter Lerato Namelang, and Fighter Natasha Mpambani. The regional command team consists of Twin One members, and 20 members are active. Between 2018 and 2022, the RCT has 
held 32 ordinary physical meetings and six virtual meetings and 21 spe special meetings. The region accounts for a total population of 115,613 or 10.3% 10, 10 of the total population in the province. In the 2019 national, national and provincial election, out of 71,483 registered voters, the region received 1,083 votes. In the 2021 local government election, in the 2021 uh, uh, government election, out of a total of 69,535 registered voters, the region received 1,086 votes on the ward ballot and 1,094 votes on the PR ballot. In the, the region has a total of two seats, one in Rechtersfeld municipality and, two, and one in Kaima municipality. The organization is, is not represented in four out of six municipalities in the region. The program, uh, programs and organizational activities. Thank you, comrades. Number 10, programs and organizational activities. Through mass mobilization, the organization is able to deepen its roots in the society while addressing injustice through programs such as rallies, pickets, and protests. Our founding manifesto is, a, is clear that we will contest political power because we are guided by the firm belief that we need political power in order to capture the state and, and then transform the economy of the emancipation of black South Africans, especially Africans. The form, the form in which we have committed to contest political power, po political power will from time to time, to, from time to time be reviewed in the light of prevailing circumstances. But the primary role of mass organization activism as a means, of ra as a means to raise the political consciousness of the people will remain the bedrock of our political practice. Therefore, we have undertaken that we will be involved in mass movements and community protests that seek the betterment of our, the betterment of people's of our people's life. We have a we have promised South Africa, South Africa, Africa, and the world that we will also associate with movements that demands land through land occupation, aimed at making the at making the message clear that our people do need land. We have even went as far as saying that we will support all trade unions and workers that stand up in demand of a better working condition and salaries wherever and whenever they do so. To this end, we will not be, will not be bound by narrow alliance loyalty that compromise the interests of workers just because of they are in a different trade union. Our pursuit of the basic, basic, democrat, basic demands of, uh, of the Freedom Charter is, enchart, is, is anchored in form of organization that working of the working class. And indeed, black people may, f may maybe I'm too fast for myself. Our pursuit to the basic demands of the Freedom Charter is anchored in form of organization that the working class and indeed black people may fashion in, in course of struggle. In other, in other words, alliance and other forms, in other forms of organization are relevant to the extent that they maximize our march towards realization, realizing the vision outlined in the Freedom Charter in pursuit of economic freedom fight, economic freedom in our lifetime. To this end, the province has held second plenum and lived up to and live up to implementation of the provincial programs of action. To this regard, the province has held the following programs. 
There is the, the programs that we have held, comrades. The total media statement that we have in the province is 83. The total radio interviews that we have is 20. Television interviews is five, which we are doing very poor. In terms of the social media, comrades, on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, that's, that's, that's the graph. Uh, and this individual responsibility for the communication, it was Commissioner Shadrach Taule, Fighter Obaken Lichuti. In terms of labor, comrades, the provincial labor desk is active and is being led by the provincial deputy chairperson, Fighter Mweketi Konote, and through the commitment shown by this office, has, pro has proved that our people continues to be marginalized, victimized, and oppressed by the employment sector. The table below will show cases reported of the EF to the EFF Northern Cape Labor Desk by our people who believe that the EFF is their only hope. That is the table, comrades. I'm not going to go through the table. The table above the table above shows that no labor work has been done under the period or period under review in two regions, namely Pixlikaseme and Namakwa. The province embarked on different matches, especially to mining houses within John Taolo Haitewin, Francis Bart and ZF and ZF, demanding employment opportunity and fair labor treatment. In terms of gender-based violence report, the provincial deputy secretary has, uh, as a head of gender-based violence, has led marches against gender-based violence in the in Sol Plaiki and David Kraper, and also convened a Women's Day celebration and Heritage Day in Pokwani and in Sianguma. The death that uh, we number eleven death notices. Between 2018 and 2022, the organization lost its most trusted and dedicated fighters. Amongst them, uh, amongst them, leaders in uh, leaders in the organizational structure and EFF public representative, and they are Fighter Malifu Muchani and Fighter Olebuheng Haubudiwi. May their soul rest in peace. In conclusion, the wins seen and the wins and the wins and to be celebrated in the period re under review includes the following. While we celebrated these wins, we do so knowing full well that there is much more to be done as an organization. We must, if we are to grow, if we are, we must grow in introspect and make a proper assessment of where we are and where we come from to that we can forge forward into the future with victory. Taking stock of the journey of the, the past four years of the province under the elected leadership is a critical com component, at it, at component of the gathering. This privilege, this privilege enables us to conduct a politi political diagnosis of the organization in the Northern Cape. The increased membership, which continues to gradually escalate, is a clear is the clear pulse of the heartbeat of the revolution in the Northern Cape. If we are to all throw our weight behind the momentum, rest assured, comrades, we will capture not only the imagination of the voting popula popula population, but state's power itself in order to transform the lives of our people. Despite the shortcomings associated with COVID-19, our members were still visible and on the ground agitating and advocating for, for what it is right at the, at the time, at the cost of the lives and the health. Perhaps this was, an, was, this was implied expectation regarding the elected leaders. After all, we are elected not, not to grandstand, but to serve our organization and our people. Indeed, as leaders of the province, regions and branches, ours is to... Is to is to be the vanguard of the, of the revolution. Yet the great members which, saw, which, saw during rally, which we saw during rallies, picket, and other organizational programs point to the fact that the province is maturing, especially in drawing the connection between the membership and activism. 
On, on, on that note, comrades, branch delegates gathered here today, please convey our message as a province that we thank all our ground forces for always, being, uh, for always availing themselves to this uncompromised activism in guarding and pursuing forward the revolution without their selflessness, the task of, the task of taking the organization to the greater heights would have been both difficult and discouraging. We also wish to thank all delegates present and absent for their discipline and hard work leading up to this assembly. Through your dedication and order, we have been able to coordinate and convene this assembly in an, od in an orderly manner. And we, we trust that we will keep uh, the momentum on the note throughout the conference. Our staff members employed by the organization and those serving us in the provincial legislature and councils as well as the volunteers played a critical role in ensuring, in ensuring there was stable administration both prior to and after the lockdown. The long hours and sacrifice you continue to contribute are your service, not only of the organization but the revolution itself. For this we want to thank you. We thank all the leadership in the, of the branches and the regions and the province who always, always leading the ground forces of the EFF with humanity and selfless, selflessness. Some, some of you have forgone your, forgot your, forgone your personal ambitions and avail yourself to the revolution by taking away from time to time because of the EFF and perhaps more, and perhaps more specifically of your commitment of the revolutionary call. You spend less time with your families or your loved ones. For those who are deployed to state institution, the constant stigma and misguided, way, misguided view that spreading of, or on TV or holding a public office means that you will be rich. We thank you for holding up the EFF banner knowing full well that uh, despite the fame or perceived opulence in the time of distress, you often have nowhere to turn. Banks scrutinize us for more than, banks scrutinize us far more than they do ordinary to, applic to, to ordinary applicants and our children, as well as our families are victimized at school, at work, and in their broader communities because of their association with us, with us for being the EFF members. For this, we, we avail no reward or standing, or standing ovation, for we know that the history will vindicate us. We thank all EFF public reps in the province for their, for their diligent work in their legislature, the district, and council, your robust engagement, oversight, and altogether holding the state accountable on matters such as fraud, corruption, and service delivery is part of reason why today in the Northern Cape the EFF can point at tangible output. Your hard work, comrades, was not only seen in the ballot boxes in council, but also in the streets, of, in the streets amidst COVID, where you rallied behind service delivery marches and protests and protests. For this, the organization salutes you, comrades. Last and most least, we thank the Northern Cape Provincial Command Team, and we do so specifically because the PCT led, led under very unusual circumstances presented not only by COVID-19, but also political dynamics, which, if it was not for unity, could have brought this province to its knees. Much as we differed from time to time, our engagement and deliberation in the PCT meetings and officials' meetings were always, were always raised comradely and organizationally. We wish to also thank the national leadership led by the president and commander-in-chief, the, the council and guidance, and as well as the support we received from the central command team in all matters pertaining to an active of the, the pertaining to and activities of the province. 
have, ma have molded us in a way which have made our work more seamless. We furthermore want to thank the Central Command Team deployees to the Northern Cape under the leadership of the, of the Deputy Secretary General, Commissar Popi Mailola, and a, a token of appreciation to Commissar Polnita Mare, who is the convener of the deployees in the Northern Cape, and dedication of and our dedication to Commissar Sasharon Letlape and Commissar Prim, Prim Rosonti. We wish to send our regards to fighter Pevana Moteka, who when was a deployee of the Northern Cape, shown to be committed in building the EFF in, the rural, in this rural province. Fighters, as branches, dedicate, as branches gathered here, you are the rightful owners of the EFF in the Northern Cape. We hope that as we consolidate the grounds towards socialist power, you will continue educating, agitating, galvanizing, and rallying society behind the banner of the EFF. Amanda, Amanda, thank you very much, comrades. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Provincial Secretary of the EFF. Uh, comrades, uh, it is time to engage the organizational report. Comrade, I want to rubber stamp and I want to put emphasis to say let's stay within the parameters of the report. Let's not uh, elope out of the organizational report because that will definitely uh, mess with the time. So comrades, uh, this is how we are going to do it. Like we did with the political report. I'll take five hands that side and I'll take five hands in this area. Yeah, you can stand there and run when we request you to give. Okay, let me. Uh, I see there is a hand there of, uh, on this side. Uh, comrades, Maybe I should also look at new hands. I see there is a, a hand there. Uh, I, will, I, will, I will also give you, I'll set five. So obviously if there's five hands and you can also engage, I'll give you. I'm just saying, let's start with those who are speaking for the first time. Uh, fighter, that is the lady, yes, it's number one. And then number two is there. Can you just stand, so, yeah, you are the only one who have raised the hands there. Yes, you are number two. And then we have number uh, four is uh, the regional chair of France. Or oh, number three is the lady here. Oh, I didn't see you. Sorry. Yes. Uh, and then the regional chair of Francis Bard. And uh, is your hand still up? Uh, all right. And, and the uh, fighter Tito. So that is the, that side, the five of that side. Now this side, we want, uh, uh, I will start with new speakers. So that's going to be, uh, fighter here is number one, and then uh, fighter Pascalias, number two, and then uh, uh, fighter there is number three, number four, and then number five. Uh, that side, in that sequence, number one, you know, you know yourself, the one I recognized first. Uh, let's note the questions uh, uh, so that you can be able to respond to them. Uh, thank you very much, um, leadership, commissars, um, leadership of the province, the RTC, as well as my lovely delegates here. My name is Charlotte Corbis. I am the branch chairperson of Ward 4 in Sol Plaiki. Uh, provincial Secretary, I've got three questions for you uh, with regards to what you were discussing right now. So on page one, paragraph number four, year of the branches, my question is to you, when last have you been to branches in Solplaiki? 
if you are saying that you are taking care of the branches this year. My second question then comes from page six, paragraph number, the third paragraph. Um, with regards to the treasurer being suspended. So I want to find out, does this mean that there is no account of finances for the past four years? My last question would then be um, the inequality in the Northern Cape. So the CIC mentioned today that when we choose leaders today, we should choose leaders that love the EFF, irrespective of our personal feelings towards that leader. Um, having said that, I want to find out from you. There were three by-elections in the Northern Cape. The first one was in Pokwani. Two cows were slaughtered for the community. The other one was in Kariaberg. A cow was slaughtered in Kariaberg. The other one was in Word 21, Solplaiki, Dololo cow slaughtered. Why the inequality? Coming back to my question, leader, of choosing people that love the EFF. Provincial Secretary, do you love the EFF? And if you do love the EFF, what is your problem with Francis part? Because you have caused great division in our Francis part municipality. Thank you very much. Thank you. Questions noted. Second question. Uh, the second person, yes. Don't forget the number. You are one, two, three, four, five. So don't forget when I say two, you should know. Yes, uh, fighter. Thank you very much. My name is Keza Rezang uh, from uh, Ward 14, Hasohonyana, in the JTG region. Right. I just want to say thank you very much for such a wonderful and a very, very progressive uh, report from the secretary. Uh, order, comrades. Thank you. Thank you. Well, then, leadership. And then uh, the issue which I want to raise here, even the report is clear and uh, very, very smart and uh, well organized. I want to talk here on page eight. Page eight. <laughs> if you look on the table above there, it says from the table above, it is clear that John Taolo Haithel region has the highest membership. Let me put it in this way. When you look in the table, it shows clearly that there are some regions who are underperforming. Now, the only question I have here, what did we do as a leadership to discipline, I said discipline, the underperformed region? And again, what need to be done to assist the region also to improve its work in a one million, one province target. Because it is very, very important to assist those who are weak so that they should get power to do and to deliver according to the organization's rule. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, Fighter uh, Rezang. The next, uh, the third person. Number three? Number three. I think number three, yes, that's uh, Mbokoto there. 
Dumelang Khapi. As I introduced myself earlier, my name is Sepongile Chawe, Secretary of Watley 11, Sol Plaiki. Uh, P.S. I have two questions for you. Um, the first question, I'd go straight to the point. I see here you have, uh, let me say, a slogan that says, the year of the branches. I just wanted to ask you, did you ever give any branch a chance to prove itself to you? Now that you say this year it's about branches, because seemingly most of the things are happening without the knowledge of the branches. So I just wanted to know if you as the PS, have you ever given any branch a chance to prove itself to you in terms of going to the branches, working hand in glove with the branches on the ground? Um, my second question is about the membership. Let me say the attendance registers. We have been currently using old data of our membership, which is a struggle to us. So I wanted to check with you, are you aware of that? Because for this launch of the PPA, I had more than three people which are deceased and were never are marked as deceased from the office. So my question is, are you busy checking paperwork before it comes back to the branches? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, question noted. Uh, the fourth hand, uh, Francis Barche. Yes. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, P.S. Mine goes to the entire 24-page report. Um, I'm seeking wisdom in terms of perhaps what should have been the thing that ought to have transpired prior to submitting the report. It's a 24-page report and it speaks about us. It's, it's our identity in terms of branches, our growth, our vision, where we come from, and so forth. As such, a 24-page report dropped today in the conference. I don't think it's justice. It ought to have been circulated somehow prior for us to go through, because other people are exhausted and they would not necessarily engage and do justice to this report. I don't know what the policy says, but the known trends are you disseminate the report prior to a sitting of this nature. <clears throat> My other issue is um, you reported the co-option of vacant positions. I've never heard you co-opting a treasurer or, con or convening an appropriate meeting which could then fill a treasurer position because it's vacant. Now we have had programs of the organization. We don't know how much came in. We don't know how much we got from the province or head of us or contributions or sponsors whatever, we know nothing. It would be a shame, and I can be placed on record, it would be a shame that we go out of this conference not knowing how much was received and how much was used. I'm saying in the light of that, we need answers, thanks. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, Number five, yes. Thank you, leader. 
I think everybody know me by now. Leadership, uh, mine is just to say the report is more of a political report. And maybe we can just save our time and propose closure. Because I don't know where I'm going to sleep, but we are playing here. All right, uh, comrades. Uh, comrades, uh, we are moving here now. Let's be orderly. Let's be orderly. Uh, we are going here. Number one. Uh, thanks, thanks, Chairperson. My name is Batlapi Mogavadi, JTG RCT member. My first question, Chair, Emo, page number six, page number five to six, and uh, point number four, officials, which read the composition of the officials remain intact and need their attention and implement, implementation of the process the matter of the organizations which need their intention and implement, implementation. Among those are aspects such as organiza organizational discipline. Question again, Elegore. As a resident in Sidraki, our chairperson today, Sishowa organizational discipline. My, my second question is yeah. also on that point of removal of fighter Matevis as provincial treasurer. My question is, are Ronali treasurer's report today? And then goes to page number 10. On page 10, under 7.1, the 2021 local government election, the province has a population of about 1.2 million and only 622,746 people registered to vote. And give us a great to vote, of which half population of the province are not registered vote, voters. Uh, then let's go to page 21. On page 21, the province embarked on different matches, especially to the mining house within John Taolo Khaizewe. Haki Kopola sent the Kadi 22, June 2022, Rinlele Machi to Kumba Mine. Harisi Rikrei responded, Haritu responded, Yaku Kumba Mine are in. So Haritu Rahu Ekrei Yang because but uh, the, the ground force Barabosa or Karawa Eta Ling Chaperson. The last one is that of the region, all of your regions uh, secretary on Ale 21 RCT members and all of them they have got 20 active. I don't know what you have you done with the last one to make it to 21. Thanks. Thank you very much. We will take all these questions and, and answer them like that. Uh, number two. Uh, thank you very much, Deputy Chair. Uh, my name is Pascalias Padi from Francis Bart region, the Khatlon sub region, what for? Mine here is a question, but before that, I want us to recall that. Mine here is a question, but before that, I want to, to enter on this point, page six, point number five, about the portfolio of deployments. And my focus here is on the committee and the responsible individuals of those particular portfolios. On those portfolio of the youth of which I'm concerned of, the responsible individuals is Fighter Lenda Lipolesa, Fighter Lesiho Janki. So before I ask that question, I want us to recall that uh, our youth here in Northern Cape is neglected. 
and already receiving the Sadoma Socialistic treatment from the agency at the same time from our organization, which is totally wrong and unacceptable. Now, it is wrong for us to preach youth empowerment, but whereas there is no program that is implemented in solidarity with the status quo youth empowerment. Now, my question is, what is it that you, as the collective leadership of the province, has done to empower the youth of Northern Cape? Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, thank you, <coughs> Deputy Chair. Uh, I don't have questions. Uh, this report clearly shows that uh, our provincial secretary were, was the engine of this organization. Because without an engine. I want to applaud the, the provincial secretary for what he did for this province. The membership, the increasing of ward councillors, peer councillors, members in legislature, seats in district and NCOP. You took this province to the higher level. Continue to do the good work for this organization. Amanda. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, uh, the fourth hand. Thank you, uh, of the session. Uh, before I proceed, leader, to you, uh, chair of the session, we have uh, rules and procedures here, and it doesn't limit us from speaking once or twice. So please, leadership, must not skip us when we are raising our hands here and say one new people. If those people, they are not raising their hands, it's not our problem. Uh, uh, yes, uh, to come to the point here, leader, also, now at least uh, I'm having a report in front of me. I'm having a report in front of me, and it's a very good report. I have been a former regional chairperson, and I can reflect on this report. It's a very good report, and it is what was happening in this province. But also leadership, to touch on the issue of Page 17, 9.1.5, on the issue of Namakwa region. We have a serious crisis in Namakwa, leader, because we are having six municipalities there, although we have increased with one councillor there. But uh, I'm very worried about the state of Namakwa as a region. Uh, the uh, incoming leadership must zoom in on Namakwa, and put pressure there so that at least we can increase and get representatives in all municipalities there. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes, uh, that's the first hand that I was looking for. When of course. Thank you. I thank you, um, delegates, wonderful people. I thank you, commissars, all of you. Um, Chairpersons and secretaries of the regions. Um, my question is very simple. I've got three questions for the PS here, but um, I just wanted to address um, a few of you who shoot directly uh, from can, the. Hip. Can you maybe tell us who you are before okay. you. Yes, my name is Simon Lekau, um, with 33 Sol Plaiki. Yeah, I just wanted to address you who shoot from the hip about the report. But before then, I will just pose questions. Um, actually, my question was most uh, actually embarked on women um, development. P.S. As the engine of this organization, as it said, 
um, there's a lot of women here already, and these are ground, ground forces, also community members. My question is to you, number one, you talk about women empowerment. What have you done as the peers of this province for our women, our beautiful women that our CIC is very jealous of? Uh, and you also talk about economic uh, uh, cluster here. What type of economic activities, including business formations, business programs, also um, trying by all means to bring down programs that can alleviate, because they say you empower a woman, you empower a nation. That is the question, number one. And the second question would be, you speak about something, why I said you shoot from the hip. This scenario here comes from the internet. You can Google it there and paste it here. Where you talk about, where you talk about um, the scenarios and dimensions of our province, of the mining industrial sectors, where the Kimberley has got beautiful mines, diamonds and the likes. Kimberley is impoverished to the core because of the open hammer families. The open hammer closed the Kimberley mines. I was there personally. And after closing the mines in 2005, they reopened that company. 2007, uh, 15, they reopened it, sold it to the Janhonis. And today, as I speak to you, the Janhonis, they are lambasting people there. They are abusing people there inside of that company, uh, chasing black people out, in and out. I have seen you that you have done a great thing by. Uh, running a campaign to get Zamani Sol in jail, of which is a good thing. But why can't I see similar pro programs? Are you captured by the white capitalist system now? I can't see you also uh, campaigning, taking ground forces to such companies. And Kimberley is under a dire uh, a, a situation where it's dirty to the core. I've never seen you come down as the peers of the, of the province. I don't know about here, but I'm talking from Solplaiki view. So, and the last question is that a chairperson of the province, you have a, a given us a, a political re report. This report is clear and it's a simple report that speaks the realities, not something fancy, but it's empty. I thank you. Uh, thank you very much, comrades. Uh, the questions have been noted. Uh, uh, I think we are done. Uh, let's, let's go strictly to the answers. Uh, P.S. Uh, No, thanks, comrades. One thing that I must say is that this is a provincial conference, the PPA, and is constituted by branches of the EFF. <coughs> so there's no stupid question. There's no stupid question. It must never be that if maybe the question does not serve your interest, and think that that question is not relevant. All questions that you have asked, they are not personal to us, they are organizational. And we must answer them honestly, without even taking sight. But one thing that I want to say before I can answer some of the questions, comrades in South Africa, in all political parties, in all political parties, the Northern Cape must start to rise and show that we start to understand what we seek to achieve as the people of the Northern Cape. This opportunity here is not about Commissar Bartman and Commissar Shadrach. This opportunity is that 
how do we perfect the mandate you gave us moving forward? So if you will come here and want to reduce this organization to a petty thing, ask yourself that why are you here? What is that that you are doing here? How much do you love the EFF? So that's what I'm asking from all of us for it. It's not about individuals. It's about all of us sitting here tonight. It's a sign of dedication. Sitting here tonight says to all of us that we want to change the status quo. So I'm not going to answer anyone clearly personal. It's not about me. It's about the organization. And I must tell you, Commissioner Partman is still the provincial chair of this province up until he was disbanded. I'm not going to buy anyone's face to undermine the leadership. We are here as members of the EFF. We were elected for a term. Like it or not, you must appreciate that we have managed to pull through in these four years. And we did not do it alone. We did it with you. We did it together as a collective. Never take the good work that you have done and throw it outside the window as if you don't know what is our agenda. It's about our children. It's about our great-grandchildren. So, Kalikopa, Ekfragele Asaklif. This conference must proceed Katlompo respect and everything. I'm not going to buy faces of anyone who will want to undermine us. I don't think there's anyone who is desperate for positions here. And you must never think, I don't care if you support me or not, but you must never in your space undermine the t-shirt you are wearing in the name of an individual and you think that you love the EFF better you don't those who want to strive through wrong things will do the shenanigans that you have been doing comrades this is our organization Kalokopa Ekfragele Asablifto it must never be that through the social media platform, remember the EFF is watched by many people as we are seated here tonight. How should they view us? If we we'll want to take that opportunity given to us to build the Northern Cape and play with it, what are you saying? Let's love this organization. Comrades, I'm prepared not to contest if you will want to come and behave like this in the name of Shadrach in the name of Commissar Partman, in the name of, of Fighter KK. Let's never do that thing. We have a responsibility, and the responsibility is to build the EFF. So, comrades, there are questions that are asked. Questions are asked by individuals, but for the purpose of trying to strengthen the organization. The first question that was asked by Charlotte, it's about the year of branches, it's about when last was I, as the provincial secretary, in Sol Plaki. We must appreciate it when such a question comes from the floor. Because of a member says, provincial secretary, we need your attention. We need you to service our branch. Where are you? When will you come and service our branch. It's not about us stepping hands. It's about me as a provincial secretary and this collective to be ashamed of ourselves. That a member comes into a PPA and say, in my term as a provincial secretary, I have never visited the branches. So the correction to that should be, the incoming leadership must improve in servicing the branches. So, the question you have asked, Fighter Charlotte, that question all of us 
must answer it honestly that we have been absent as leaders. We have been absent as leaders. And we should not be surprised if a question comes like that. So, we, we, we've heard you and we, we understand your pain that the provincial secretary and the leadership of the EFF never visited your branches. So the incoming leadership, there is a challenge from a branch. It's not about the individual. It's about the organization. And let's go and improve. Your question says that you are determined to make sure that we win in 2024. And we must accept the challenge as the collective. Comrades, the treasurer was not suspended. The provincial treasurer was not suspended. The provincial treasurer, as elected in 2018, at some point during our journey, he got tired. And when he got tired, we extended an invitation to a point where as the provincial leadership, we invited him and the provincial and the regional chairperson and the secretary of the region to say, come, fighter Matibas, what is the problem? Why do you not, why do you just distance yourself from the organization? Apart from being unemployed, apart from being at home and all of that. What is that that you think we must do to help to build the organization? So, Fighter Matebos, if he was suspended today, he wouldn't be here. He's here as a member of the EFF because of the decision was not about him not loving the EFF. The decision was that Fighter Matebos is not available. We have tried. We have tried everything. We don't want to say other things because of ours is to build the organization. And we are building the organization. If we were personal, we wouldn't have Fighter Matebis amongst ourselves. So Fighter Matebis is here as a loving member of the EFF. So we, 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 we can't say anything more than that uh, with regard to that. The by-elections in terms of contribution from the provincial leadership, the regional leadership, the invitation is that let's find a way of helping branches or wards that are contesting elections that they are catered for, that they are giving support so that they must at least be motivated. It must not be done for a particular branch. It must be done to all branches. So that is also noted. It's noted and it must be done by the collective. I do love the EFF. I do love the EFF. And I don't love it better than you. You don't love it better than me. We love the EFF equally. So if you think that I don't love the EFF, there's nothing that I can do because of it is your perception. But also if you see that maybe all of us here, there are weaknesses that we are showing in loving the EFF, our role is to encourage each other and say, fighter, why later? Fighter, here you are committing a suicide. You are destroying this organization. So that's what we must do if you see any of us taking a wrong a, a direction. Fighter Gada. John Taolo is doing good, yes, but we are not yet that happy as the collective. We will be happy if John Taolo in 2024 can give us at least 50,000 votes, meaning the membership you have now is not enough. Let's go and work. I don't praise fishes for swimming. Their responsibility is to swim because of they are staying in the water. So your responsibility is to grow the EFF because of you are a member of the EFF. So we can't clap hands for you. If you got that appreciation and applaud, applauding, please share. 
you are lucky. So go and work, John Taoloha, and say, we are not yet happy about this. We, we need you to give us 50,000 membership in this region, uh, a regional deputy chair, and fight uh, uh, Retang as the deputy secretary of the region. We are doing everything towards one million membership. Let's continue to work. Fighters Bongile. The, 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 the province is working with the collective of the regions. So there's no membership that comes to the province. Even in a form of the attendance register as we are sitting here. There's no region that got the attendance register on, on the eve of the BGA. This process of the BGA started on the 1st of June. And only towards the end of July, regions started to run. They started to run very late. We submitted, we gave all regions as a province. The membership states of each and every branch for to go and verify. Check those who have left the EFF out of stupidity. Check those who might be deceased for the and what is happening. So our regions, we need to improve in terms of administration. Our branches need to improve in terms of administration so that we address that. So we are growing. We will grow. There are mistakes that we are having, and I think we'll get it right. Fighter Vosi. In terms of uh, section 19, subsection 2, it is clear when is corruption, when do we need to do a corruption? And uh, why should we do a corruption? We also, what we have, what is the appointment of, it's an appointment, né? Yeah, of uh, additional members. It is clearly stipulated in the constitution. So within the top five comrades of this organization, this is part of learning also. We don't co-opt any officials. For us to have to, to replace an official, there must be an RGA. So you elect a person into that position. If we'll go and, and co-opt a treasurer, that will, that will be a suicide. We will be doing something else. So we can't do that. Of which, eh? Yeah, we can't do it. So, are uh, are checking? Five years later, we will be mastering this thing. The report, this report did not land here by mistake. This report, before we came to present it here, we took it to the PCT. Maybe yourself and the collective, we should have spoke after the PCT so that maybe we say, hey, bravos, please, this report, the, the reason of calling the PCT was to go and check if uh, was for the readiness of the PPA. So the report was presented to the PCT, which regional chairpersons and secretaries form part of the PCT. So this report is not my report. It's our report because of it was presented and adopted in the PCT. So the report is not uh, misleading. It's clear, it's proper, it's what we have. In terms of funding the organization, comrades, let's go and do fundraising. Let's, do, let's go and do fundraising. This conference, the way you think that they more, is funded by the EFF. It's funded by the EFF National, and we are being audited properly. National gets audited every year. Every financial year, the reports uh, uh, are submitted to our auditors, and they go through our finances. And so far, we have been doing very good. So the report... Of, fund, of how we should fund the EFF. It's something that we must go and work on as a province, as regions, as branches. But for now, seated here, we are funded by the 
national uh, uh, leadership through a proper funding, party funding that we have through your party levy, uh, through the budget that we have in councils. That's what we, we have. And the legislature. So it's proper. When you are a treasurer of the EFF, it does not mean now you must be held accountable for, for funding alone. Fighter Tito, I, I think what you are doing is wrong. What you are doing is wrong. And someone must tell you. Some of us who are holding you got that respect. We are holding you got that respect. Coming into a, an RP, a, a PPA of the EFF, we understand your condition. When you want to speak, you raise the knob kiri, the, the, the stick that you are using. That's very wrong. Anyone in this meeting who wants to raise hand, if you feel like you are not recognized, why can't you use a book that you are having? Why can't you use your hand? Why is one to reset Tobani Akaro? And even when you rose to speak, Fighter Tito, you, you, you don't stand up to say something that we will say, Mohuena, we've known you. You have been in the organization, not only the EFF. You come a long way. The respect we have for you is not because of we found you in the EFF or you are a member of the EFF. It's because of personally you have contributed in who you are. And we continue to respect for who you are because of you love the EFF. So Rahukupa leadership, the leadership is given directive and even if we are not happy about answers that the leadership gives, we can't shout back at the leadership. Mamotabi, Where is Motabi? Thank you. That's all I can say. I did not see you very well. I think it's Pascalias, ne? Who are speaking somewhere here? Pascalias, ne? Uh, we are failing in terms of... We are, we are failing in terms of youth participation. Maybe it's because of we are generally young people in the EFF. But, but we, we need to find a way of agitating young people and make sure that we encourage them uh, to love the EFF and work for the EFF and build the EFF in the Northern Cape so that at least youth opportunities in the province, in our government, in this government, young people must benefit. But as things, as things still stands now, the ruling party they are not open in how they do their, their issues. So we need to confront them, especially on the NYDA program. Because of the NYDA program, it's not a program of the ruling party. It's a program of the people of the Northern Cape and South Africa. And we need to go and knock at their doors and ask them to service young people in the province. So it's one of the things that I believe and I agree with you that we have neglected as a province. And we are going to make sure that the leadership coming in, we must support them to raise and challenge such issues that we have raised. Fighter Ricardo Stein, indeed we are troubled and I think we need to find a way, a mechanism to help build Namakwa. We are struggling in Namakwa and we are not struggling because of maybe it's a colored region is because of we are not committed. In the Northern Cape, we never had the issue of a, a race. It, it will be for the first time that thing comes and we have managed to address it properly because of we understand that we have been living together as society in the Northern Cape. And we must continue to encourage community in general, not only members of the EFF, that we don't have color lines amongst ourselves. We are all South Africans and we must love each other as South Africans. Fighter Simon, uh, Simon Legau, the, the business activities and all of that that we can't get, 
That's why we are speaking or we are saying we, we, we are a socialist movement, socialist organization that must strengthen or fight that we are, we are taking state power. That state power will give us to service the people of the Northern Cape, will help us to service everyone without looking at the T-shirt you are wearing. Because of now as things are in the Northern Cape, the ruling party is servicing a T-shirt. They are not servicing society of the Northern Cape. So let's work hard that we win 2024. We do good so that we must come and show those ones who are leading the state that we can do it better. We can perfect it because of we do have capacity. That's why today we are having the problem study mine in the Northern Cape. And we are not beneficiaries. People who benefit from this are not from the Northern Cape, not that we are regionalistic, but we are saying business opportunities should be given to local people. And I think let's go and work hard and commit ourselves with the collective. Those are the questions that I have tried to answer, and they might not be enough, but that's the questions you asked and we have responded. Yeah, thank you very much, Chair. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I see there is a hand there. Uh, uh, I'm guided to, to close the chairperson has guided me to go straight to the adoption. Okay, guys, I've got principles behind me uh, and I'll, I'll, I'll take the advice. So there's a, there's a second advice that I should give that fighter an opportunity. Uh, Fighter Makulu, just go to Papa there with the cap. And then there is also Comr uh, Fighter Z. I see you there. And then I see there's a hand there at the back with the black shirt, t shirt. Uh, are we done? Yeah. Where? Oh, all right. And the hand there. My apologies. Uh, uh, in that sequence, comrades, you know, yes. Thank you, uh, fighter. Uh, thank you very much, Chairperson. Uh, my name is Linti Kile Pakedi. I am from a 30, uh, so play sub region. Chairperson, I started to get worried when you was when you, are, when you said you are closing, you are not taking another round of hands. And uh, I, I, I was just thinking that uh, the meeting might be running biasedly, but I am passing there. Chairperson, I am yet to persecute the mandate that I was given by the branch for them to elect me as a delegate it was to come here and listen attentively to the report, not solely to be here for the electing of the, 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 the new uh, uh, leadership, but uh, to listen attentively and to say something for me to have a report for them. Now, Chairperson, allow me to start by saying it only takes a vigilant person to be able to spot a snake when it swiftly smooth uh, uh, between the grasses. <coughs> now, I am now saying thank you to the secretary with the report that he has given. The report that is bringing to our attention to all those who was applauding the report that was given by the chairperson, yet the chairperson, not the chairperson, the secretary admits that uh, they were absent in most branches. So I don't know if I will be right if I say the secretary has been very much biased. Hence, we see the report that says JTG 
is the region that is doing the best within the province. Now, the resources of the organization, one can now clearly see where did the resources and the money of the organization, was, where, where was it spent? Secondly, there is another sub-region uh, Thank you, thank you. Uh, somebody mentioned that there was a cow that was slaughtered in Pokwani. Now, hence I am saying, one can now clearly see that uh, the secretary has been acting very much biasedly. Now the mandate that I was given to come and stand and say something from the branch with 30, it was to say, we did it without the presence of the secretary in our midst. And it was to again tell the conference that uh, we are and we will continue if he is there, if he is, he, if he is not there. We will continue to grow that word and we will continue to work very, very much hard as we are people who love this organization. Hence, we are wearing the red T-shirts. I thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, the other... The second hand, the, the second hand, oh, there. Uh, thank you very much, Chair. Uh, my name is Zet, and the same name is Quinan. Uh, the first thing that I want to do is to commend the collective of the PCT elected um, 2018 September. Uh, today is their last day and uh, they gave us a very, very, very good report. And uh, I must say it, that the report reflected three things. The collectivism, the organizational discipline, and the unity that they displayed to coordinate the mandate that they were given uh, these past four years. Uh, I must say, it, Chair, I did not want to speak, but the mood of the conference provoked me to speak. It is important that, uh, Chair, we need to understand that individuals are elected as an individuals to work in the organization with a collective. If you want to grow this EFF, and take it to the greater heights. We must really stop to put blame to an individual. The structure is elected. The structure is giving us their work that they did during four years of period that they were elected to do. I like when the secretary reads the report not to exonerate himself as an individual, but always presenting the collective if you read. Now, Chair, if we're not going to assist each other, to remind each other that we are not in an antagonist relationship as this collective, but uh, we are contesting Uh, to get uh, power to government in order to ensure that we transform the lives of our people that have voted us. 
Now, the spirit of this conference, Chair, we need it to nip it into the bud quickly as possible if we are saying that we want to take over the Northern Cape 2024. If you look at the report presented by the Secretary at page 10, Comrade Vus is saying it's 24 pages. I will say this report is almost uh, close to 60-something pages, no, 60-something or 80 pages. It's almost to 100 because that report of page 10 of the, lo of the local election results, it plays an opportunity to us to see the strength and the weaknesses of the organization and to what is it that we can do in order to ensure we place ourselves in a very good position as the CIC have just told us that the community of Northern Cape see the Red Beret as the beacon of hope that will respond to their social needs positively so. Now, Chair, I must commend this collective. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a one of the most, most uh, beautiful, beautiful report. And I think the fighters must start to learn. When the Secretary reads a report, he reads a collective reports, report, all of you have agreed to these matters that the Secretary has raised. It's something that you must understand. Whoever was dealt with it, he was dealt by the collective. Because the collective have adopted this report even before they came and reported here. So I must say it, you have done a very, very good job. You need to praise yourself because there were upside downs within your term, but you managed to pull through up to this far. The other thing that I want to raise very sharply is that I thought, P.S., you exonerate yourself to say also, I thank you, leadership, uh, for serving these four years. Because that's the only time that you can speak about yourself in the report. That's the only time to say thank you very much. When you elected me as an individual, I've managed to ensure that my personal ambition does not supersede the organizational uh, interest. And that's what we have done it very, very nicely. I thought of you were going to say, I thank you very much, it's my end. And you must not confuse yourself. It is the end, and I wish you very well wherever you go. It is the end of your term today. Whether you like it or not, it is the end of your term. You were elected only four years. So to the collective presented here and to the collective representing the branch mandate, we have a responsibility to ensure that the EFF becomes an alternative within our society of the Northern Cape. I want to join you, the last thing that I want to do, I've listened when you responded, Chair. Secretary. I want to join you to say that we should never ever be personal each other. Our enemy is to take ANC out of the government and present a good government in future. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, the, there was a, a, a speaker there. Yes. There, at the back there with the black shirt. Uh, Fighter Bucano. Oh, yeah, I don't see him properly. Oh, uh, Fighter Zekodi. Fighter Zekodi, yeah. Uh, P.S. Sichwana Sari La ho baba O khwane ho ra raba Khawa chwana le baba hawe O non kokota le selo Si uba upe ke khumarezi
ke tumela leadership ya gago tota nka be ke re go tswalelwe report ya gago re khotsa files ke re a re adopt gore eh fighter zwi thodi i'm the chair of this proceedings uh, i will i will take you there i will take you there comrades eh uh, I must do justice now. I'm going to take last few hands, like I did with the, 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 because at the end of it, I must be realistic with time. We do not have uh, the, yes, I'm going, yes, I'm going. I just want to inform the, 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 the assembly that I'm taking last hands and I'm pressurized by time. Uh, so uh, allow me to do that as the driver of this uh, vehicle. Uh, fighter here, yes, you, you are number one. Fighter there is number two. There is a fighter there at the back, back there. Yes, uh, if I can see well, uh, it looks like uh, the chair of Pixley. Oh, no, no, it's not the chair of Pixley. I see uh, the former student command, yes. Um, and then we have the, the fighter with the sun, with the spectacles here, with the two hands. Uh, and then the fighter behind you. Uh, I hope you are noting, uh, fighter Bukanyo, uh, the sequence. And then I see there is a fighter there. It's a lady with the, the beret or something. That the hands is up. That lady there, or am I seeing properly? Yes. And then uh, the the lady there. No, the one behind you. Oh, it's a guy with the white uh, shirt and then the lady with the paper. Comrades, in that sequence, shoot. Uh, thank you very much, Deputy Chair of the Province. My name is Masedi Kalaeng from what for Hasukonyana, John Taolo Haitsewi region. Uh, Chair, mine is not a question but a point of order. Call me to order if I'm out of order, Chair. Uh, I just wanted to, to, to call that fighter. Sorry to call you that fighter. I don't know your name, leadership. Uh, I just wanted to call fighter there. Uh, the fighter that says uh, the secretary of the province, it's, it's, it's clear that uh, uh, the money of Northern Cape uh, has been used in in JTG. Aki na kani hore. Kona le any region elu transfer di receive madi mukoyone so that they can know their responsibility. So I just wanted to call fighter to order. There's no money that can be used for any branch or region who iti ma ikarabelo ayone. Hard work pays leadership. Thank you very much. Uh, next hand. Next hand. Uh, com comrade from uh, uh, Carnarvon. Yes, yes. Dida. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, I'm comrade uh, Gregorius Laversa, Pixlika Semi Karieber, Ward 4 Chairperson. Mine is just a correction on the organizational report, page 10, paragraph 2. is not uh, word 5, but word 1. So it's just that correction. And last but not least, uh, thank you very much, P.S., for a well-crafted report. Thank you very much. All right, correction uh, noted. Um, Sit down. And then the next uh, speaker, uh, yours is just to deliver the mic. Uh, please. Yes, leader. Thank you very much, Chairman. Uh, my name is Fighter Daniel, former CSCT Students Command. Uh, mine is on page six, uh, number five portfolios of deployment on youth, women, and gender development, as well as page seven, six, membership, 
followed by page eight, year of the branch. First and foremost, uh, Commissar, I would like to commend you on a well-structured and very defined, outlined organizational report. Uh, it is very detailed and very informative. It really does not allow for many questions onto it, but I suppose submissions. Therefore, um, Commissar, since I've known you, I'd like to say that when it comes to the issue of branches and attendance thereof, especially within the Students' Command, uh, personally, I, I can attest to say that I've had numerous visits of the Provincial Secretary in assistance of us. That being said, on the issue of the year of the branch and membership, uh, Commissar, I believe it would be disingenuous for the province to report that there are no members of EFF students and structures where there is a university that consists of a membership of 1,250 to date with a one TVET college that has seven campuses of which of the seven one does not have, two are in interim, and four of which are well in good standing, and a total membership of EFF Students Command in the Northern Cape of 2,500. I believe um, for future references, it is such reports that clearly sta shows and states that there has been a vacuum and gap between the mother body politics as well as those of the EFF Students Command. So going forward, I do implore the incoming leadership, let us focus more on such. We contribute heavily towards um, membership as of mother body. We contribute heavily towards the voting in national as well as local. We contribute towards the marketing of the organization we contribute heavily towards conscientizing and consolidating, whether it being just on campuses, we go back to our respective regions, our branches, our home. We contribute heavily. Therefore, I prefer for future references, let us ensure that we have a proper engagements and proper participations coming on both sides. I thank you. Thank you. Uh, I believe uh, I've attended to those hands that I, oh, oh no, I forgot the, thank you, sorry. Uh, you must help me there, uh, Fighter Bigonyo. Uh, uh, my name is Damanti Eskiel Rastlola. Kichepesenea, uh, what three, correct this field. But no lot. Uh, my, my appeal is not a question, actually, it's an appeal to you as leaders. I know everyone here is a leader. Nobody who can say, I'm not a leader. Everyone is a leader, but I need hands together. Let's help each other. We've got some buckies. We have been taken by the Mr. Maposa's boys, police, SAPS. Because you know, everyone knows that if they want to do wrong things, they send their police in front. Then they're going to ask questions. So well, I'm asking that our package has been taken six months back. Our cases are closed, but they don't want to release our parkies. So who can take responsibility of helping those fellow brothers and women who have been taken by their parkies? Please. I'm begging everyone in this house to help those people. There are many bikes, 
they've been taken, getting rotten. They are in the police of uh, Springbok. Some of them, they are in Appentin. No. So many parties. Please, I'm begging everyone to help. Thank, thank you. you. No, no, thank you very much. Uh, uh, I believe the collective has absorbed on the request to help the Zamazama guys in Portfolio and Port Noloth, sorry. So, uh, comrades, uh, the last speaker uh, is, 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 is Fighter Daniel not hijacking me there? No, no. no. All right, okay, you, let's close. Let's close. Thank, thank you very much. Let's close. Um, thank you very much, uh, fighters. I'm Fighter Franz Mans from uh, Tembel Lisley, Award 5 in Pixley Kasemi. Mine is uh, just an uh, issue on page 8 in terms of uh, the table of the million of our membership. Um, and my question will be about accountability. Um, the table looks good since we started uh, earlier this year, but now we are nearing the fourth, the last quarter of the year, and when you make your, your calculations, you will see we will still all good on track, but however, there are only two months left now of, the, uh, of this year, and I'm worried that uh, this outstanding total of almost uh, more than 10,000 we might not be reach, reaching it. So my issue here is my concern is of accountability. Why I'm saying this is the one million membership campaign is an official program, fighters, from this organization. And if it is official, meaning accountability and all those things will be part of it when we are not doing it. Um, we were recruited fighters. This one is to you now. That's why all of us are here. We were recruited. So, we must also go and recruit to make this target very, very easy on us. We are from branches, um, regional structures, provincial structures, and my accountability goes now straight to all those not to one specific structure. If you are a leader in a structure, whether it's branch, region, or provincial, the accountability must start there. And if there's a program that says there must be a recruitment every Friday or even every day, and we are not reporting for maybe two, three, four weeks, where's the accountability? So I'm not pointing this one to any structure, but to all structures here in Northern Cape and say, we were recruited, so let's recruit to get this target. Amandla. Right. Uh, thank you very much, uh, fighters. We now uh, want uh, the hands to be raised to move for the adoption of the organizational report. And also the second, oh no, no, that white shit, uh, my apologies. Sorry, I, I, I must, I can't do him like that. No, he did raise the hand and I, I remember because of the white shit. Yes, I remember because of the white shit. Please don't hijack me, that side. Uh, thank you, thank you, Chairperson. Lina ke tapelo se mo ke tua ha chomoro longwa ten ke mudla stilo khone. I move to adopt uh, the report. Case closed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you, thank you very much. Uh, he, he did raise the hands before you, so I, I, I don't have control over that. Uh, he did raise the hand before you. So we are now going for the second uh, fighter here. Yes, fighter Mini Mamawini. Uh, 
you must run, uh, young man. You, you, you can still, you have big decade. Uh, Thank you. My name is Gail Sibia from Tantabani Wood 4. I therefore second this well structured and informative report. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Fighter Gail Sibia, for closing. Comrades, it has been explained. It has been explained uh, that the province does not have a treasurer's report because we do not have money that goes into a provincial account and gets dispatched anywhere but from national. So, comrades, we don't have that. Now, uh, I must explain that we are closing. Uh, we will continue with the uh, nomination tomorrow morning. Uh, just a minute. Principal is calling. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, comrades, we are going to sing. Ne? After singing, uh, we will then go and make an announcement. Please. We are going to have a s song. Uh, our uh, administration and cameras there will assist us. Thank you. Uh, Marvin Andrew Williams, I think your key is worth uh, Twalo. No, thank you very much. It was a key that he was lost. Comrades, uh, if you are not going to sing, I'm going to really now irritate you with my, you know, the song that, you know, so can we please get somebody to to have a strong uh, revolutionary song that let's close at a high note. Comrades, let's close with a high note. Yeah. 